Let me talk into your mic. Does that work? Oh, that works. <laughs> hey! Shut up for a second. Why does my dad hate me? Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Watson with Custom Offsets. Today I'm joined by my boss, Nate, and uh, we're gonna be rating some trucks from the gallery. Now, if you guys want your truck featured, the easiest way to do that is add your truck to the gallery, customoffsets.com forward slash add. And if you need wheels, tires, or suspension, and if you need wheels, tires, or suspension, customoffsets.com. Yeah. So close. Dude, that was so, so close, close, man. All right, guys, so first up, we have a 2013 GMC Sierra 2500 HD Running some American Force Blade SS8s with 22 by 14, negative 73. Middle Rudge Grappler, 35 by 12 and a half, and a BDS suspension lift of four and a half inches. It's a pretty hot truck. I like the white, for sure. It's definitely a good looking truck, and the Ridge Grapplers are some of our like highest selling tire right now. So. Yeah. Uh, so obviously no rubbing or trimming, but that's obviously because of the aftermarket front bumper. It looks like he's got a bull. Yeah. I, I don't know if I'm about it. It, yeah. it looks a little meaty. Yeah, it's a little, a little much. Let's take a look at some of these photos. That was just the first one. He uses it. <laughs> this man's got forces and he uses uh, it. Yeah. Like there's like no clean photos in here. No. It's, they're just they're just all <laughs> Refueling dirty. Refueling himself on the yeah, fly. Yeah. Nice. He's just, he's just filling himself up for those long off pavement trips. You ready to rate it? I'm I'm ready. All right. Three, two, one, seven. Five. 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 Oh great, my gosh. Great platform, but dude, the bumper and if the small tire size kind of doesn't win me over. If you would have gone a little meatier of a tire and I, I love like the paint matched uh, mirrors, yeah. that stuff's awesome. Just because the front like bowl, plow, grill attached to the bumper thing he's got going, it is a lot. And it's just not my style. I've, I'm just more of a clean style. I don't hate the bumper though, because it does give you the option for you know, no trimming and clearance um, for everything. Next up, we have a 1997 Whoa. Ford F350. Whoa. Running RBP 80R 26 by 14, negative 76 offset, Road One, a Theon MTs 37 by 13 and a half, and a BDS suspension lift of 12 inches. Uh, no rubbing or scrubbing or trimming. Well, yeah. And two inch wheel spacers. The fact it makes these 37s look small, like oh, almost tiny. rubber bands. Yeah, like stretch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's really, really, really impressive. It's insane. The part that gets me is in the front where his leaf springs are almost past like the bumper in the front. Yeah. That's a lot. Someone put a ton of work and time into this truck. All right, just the three photos. Let's rate it and then we'll give our uh, reasons to it. Okay. You think you got enough for the three photos? I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready. Do you? No. No. I just I do this every episode. I just don't know. Okay, I'm ready. All right, You're ready? ready? Three, two, one, nine. Eight. I uh, I really dig this truck. I'm I'm a hard sell. A hard uh, like a solid ten for me is pretty hard to find. But yeah, this truck is sick. I like the chrome accents. I like the front bumper itself. There's also a lot of engineering and a lot of work that went into this thing. Yeah. Plus finding an extended cab in this year truck is also super hard to find. I'm kind of like a long truck fan. Everything is really well done, uh, it super is. clean, especially for a 97. And also I'm a big firm believer on like a three color way. Like I feel like you have to have, like you have your main two colors and you gotta throw something else in. So the use of chrome, white, and purple, I guess yeah. you would say. Yeah, have an overall theme. Yeah. All righty. Next up we got a 2015 Toyota Tacoma Fuel Assault 20 by 10, negative 19, uh, Federal Karaja MTs and a 33 by 12 and a half and a Pro Comp suspension of six inches of lift. Uh, moving to the details, suspension, Pro Comp. Uh, he's got six inch Pro Comp stage two with uh, Pro Comp upper control arms, Pro Comp rear stabilizer bars, no rubbing or scrubbing and no trimming, no spacers. Cali Rays, ditch lights, Pelfrey built front bumper with Baja design light bar and squadron sport fog lights. Roll bar mounted in the bed with 53 inch light bar, and fab step sides and end fab spare tire holder, as well as a spider projector headlights and 
Trek's front grille. There's a lot going on with this truck, but there is. All together, I think it wraps together pretty well. Kind of a fan of ditching the front bumpers on this and kind of making it look like, you know, a pre-runner. I like the the blue accents, the fact that he was able to tie in some, yeah. some different blue accents. On the, the hooks. Front, the front bumper, the hooks. Um, I really do dig this front bumper. And especially with a lot of these Toyotas, like, yeah. you know. It's tough to get around the Tacoma. It's it's like a, a really big chin. Yeah. And this looks good when yeah. you kind of shave it back and give it a lower, sleeker profile. I, I really dig it. Right, the light bar was in the front bumper, which was nice. Those NFAB side steps, I really like them. Uh, I had a set on one of my previous trucks and they were on a Dodge Ram. It was really nice. He's even got the additional third step for like crawling in the bed and, and stuff. Grab, so. grab your Yeti out of the box. Yeah, or grab your headache rack in the back. It's all right, you ready? Yeah. yeah. All right, three, two, one, six. Five. Fan. I, I think this is one of the best looking Tacomas yeah. I think I've seen in a minute. There's some out there that are better. This one's just too many angles for me on this. Sure. I've come to really love the Tacomas as of recently, so it's been really nice to see how much everyone is pushing the limits with these Tacomas. Yeah. But I guess overall for me, I would like to see, especially a Tacoma being, you know, notorious for your like Baja and a lot of people do a lot of Baja overland builds with oh, it, yeah. you know. Even like, he only has 33s in there right now. So to see like a 35, even like a 37, we've talked about use of 37s. A lot of people recently have been pushing the limits to 37s, no matter what they can do. And with mm -hmm. having that new bumper, I feel like a 37 definitely could fit. Fuel assaults are stupid heavy. Yeah. Like they have got to be the heaviest wheel on the market. It's because there's a lot going on. Yeah. They're, they're so far pushed out. Like the, yeah. the spokes come so far out. Yeah. It's really hard. And it's a super like busy, aggressive wheel, and I do like it. But now that there now there's so many options for like your overland off ran mm -hmm. or off road build, so maybe like a lighter wheel, depending on what he's using this for. You know, if you're going out in the woods and trails and stuff, you might right. want something lighter. Um, I think this one is one of the only ones so far we've seen that I think it's got enough tire to wheel ratio on it. Yeah. Um, I think like the faux beadlock looking style really helps with the pre runner aspect of it. I think. The reason I don't like it is because of the blue. It would look so much cleaner either with more blue, less blue, or choose your style. He seems so yeah. in between a show truck and like a, a fitted actual like usable yeah. truck. There's different sections of so many different things right. going on. Which seems that I feel like there's a lot of people that run into that, you know. We're enthusiasts and we, we love the overland, mm -hmm. we love the show, and we kind of want to get a mixture of both. You want a super clean off-road truck, which is like hard to keep. And yeah. At the same time, you want to turn your off-road truck into a show truck. Definitely. We definitely get it, but next. Oh, Ooh. man. Next up, we got a 2006 Dodge Ram 2500 running some Archon off-road Crown Series victories in the 26 by 14. Negative 81, uh, Road One Theon MT 37 by 13 and a half in a BDS suspension lift of six inches. I definitely know that there's more going on with Dakota's truck. I do know this truck. Four inch BDS lift, two and a half inch puck in the front, slight rub at full turn, no trimming, no spacers, details. He has a fresh full paint job in that white sanded and smooth frame, fully painted suspension and 12 rock lights. 12 rock lights? Yes. Damn, UFO. I know he's got like that high vis yellow suspension going on. Yeah. And then he also painted his axles white. The um, subtle accent stuff like that, I think goes a really long way. Yeah, yeah. like that's, that's sick. That's beautiful. The Leafs too, diff, Leaf diff, Springs. Yeah, diff cover, everything. Very this is clean. my favorite year Ram. This is the year that I used to own. I had a big red one. And this year is definitely sick. I like how he doesn't flip his toe mirrors out. Yeah. That's also another thing. It's hard to not do if you own a Cummins. Yeah, he's got his uh, stickers on the back in Rep the Archon. yeah in the high vis yellow as well. I know Luke, Archon's videographer. I remember he traveled down to shoot this truck, and he came back with some killer footage. If you guys have not seen that, Archon Off Roads YouTube channel, go check it out. The spotlight and vehicle feature on this truck was uh, pretty gnarly, so definitely don't miss out on that. For sure. All for right, sure. you ready to rate this? Oh yeah, three. Two, one, nine. nine. 100% of nine. Yeah. I think I'm in the same boat as you. A 10 is like gotta be damn, damn, damn good. And yeah. I, I feel like he is very close. He is very there. Super, super, super beautiful. I mean, the fact that he, you know, had his suspension done, his axles done, everything is so beautiful and well done. Um, I like the yellow. Not a lot of people go for a yellow too. Yeah. I know one of these photos is him with another 
truck that also has yellow accents on the underbody and I really dig it with the white. I really dig it. It really adds a different flair. A lot of people people go for like a lower color, but uh, this one's pretty sick. All right, final one. We have a 2015 Chevy Silverado 1500 running American Force Blade SS's and a 22 by 12 negative 44. Those wheels seem to be pretty popular. Yes. Uh, Nitto Trail Grappler in a 35, 12 and a half and a Magoy suspension lift of nine inches. Hey. This truck looks sick. Yeah. I love this year Chevy. Suspension details, Magoy 7 to 9 lift set at 9. All powder coated illusion blue along with full rear axle and leafs. No rubbing, no trimming. Details, he's got uh, built headlights with all LED lighting and custom paint match. One off boost bars, illumination, grill, track bars, Fox Resi rear shocks, GM factory tow mirror upgrade with full LED switchbacks, twisted pro all-terrain LED pod fog lights, and rear flush mounts, and like literally the list just keeps going on. Air horns. Yeah, that's uh, nuts. Train ECD horn. custom wrap. Dude, the JL full audio system, that's yeah. that's pretty sick. So this is where we're getting to the level like we were talking about yes. with like the crazy details. Yes. Not that that last truck wasn't awesome, but this, this is uh, over the top. Right. I really dig those wheels, especially from that side angle right there with the blue. Yeah. Like that wrap. It, it reminds me of like a traction like a traxxas rc car yeah 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 like a nitro powered rc car that's 100 percent what this would be ecd's wraps are always super dope so like to getting the the blacks and the grays to to fade into the blue is super sick and then oh, yeah. you know like he said having the track bars and the leafs and everything in the blue as well as your front cross member that grill is insane yeah with the I black and blue the detail of the wrap in between the headlights too like yeah. right over the trim pieces that's awesome that like the integration of the name of your build into it is what i'm talking Nightmare. about with like yeah. oh yeah plus yeah. the blue halos yeah in the headlights like that's the stuff that it'll take you a minute to look at the they look like factory fogs but they're rock lights down in the bumper absolutely awesome right looks like he's got uh aftermarket hitch yeah the demon eyes, that's sick. The spikes are blue. Yeah, the yeah. Little, little stuff like that, I, I'm ready. I'm also ready. Three, two, one, nine, ten. This one's what pushed me over, man. Like, I'm not brand loyal, I'm brand picky. Yeah. And this is done very well for this year Chevy. It's not done up with a ton of extra additions on the body. He works the lines without adding a bunch of flares and stuff like yeah. that. This one's done pretty sick. Yeah. I think the only reason why I gave it a nine should have actually bumped up to like a nine and a half because it is super, super close. Maybe gone with a 24 instead of a 22 and then a 37. Oh, sure. Which, you know, I have the same lift that I'm about to throw yeah. in my truck, but I'm on 24s and 37s, so very close to literally what I'm looking for. So because it's, it's not right your truck. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, so that's what we got for you guys on this episode of From the Gallery. Once again, if you guys want to be featured in one of these, add your truck to our gallery, customoffsets.com forward slash add. Uh, and if you guys need wheels, tires, or suspension, you already know, customoffsets.com. Thank you, Nate, for coming out, reviewing these trucks with me. No problem. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Yeah.